It's a quick video on tramming my Tormach 1100. It's a pretty simple process. It's not hard to do. I made this tram bar. I'll do some details at the end of the video on it. It's just some 5 8 thick scrap I had. I think it was SA612 material. It doesn't have to be anything special. Just some good material, machine straight. Uh, my base, that's a 5 8 thick plate. Uh, it's 3 by 5 tubing with 5 8 thick feet on it with some half 20 adjustment bolts on it to level the stand. Got the stand good and level, machine mounted. Uh, the parts I machine were coming out slightly crooked, like you could tell it was out of trim. So I made this bar, checked it. Yeah, it was over nine inches. It was seven thousandths out of trim, which is completely unacceptable. So made this and done it. It's a pretty simple process. Start off with bring your dial indicators down just to where they touch the table. Not much so they don't go down in the T-slots. And you'll want to zero both of them. Don't zero them at the same time. They need to be zeroed in the same location. As in, zero your left one where it's at. Rotate the whole bar to where the right indicator is in the same spot the left one was. And then zero it. Then you can turn it back and that will tell you how much out of trim. I've already done this. And right there over nine inches is not measurable. These are half thousandth dial indicators. So less than half a thousandth over nine inches. Uh, it was about seven thousandths out. Right, with the dial indicator zero, rotate it on around. Do it slowly, that's my eight year old. Good helper. Oh, right there. So front to back, we're right at half a thousandth. Front to back, I was about five thousandth off on the Y axis, seven on the X, but right there showing half a thousandth Y over nine inches. That'll work for me. All right, this is checking it from the other side just to make sure both indicators read the same. All right, go ahead and turn it to her. A lot simpler with the vice off, but I'm doing it on the far extreme travel. This with the that's good. This is with the x axis all the way at the end of its travel. All right, that's still within half a thousand. That's perfectly acceptable. Now, that's it. This right here is still at the far left side of the table. Want to make sure you're trammed on both sides. So, what you'll do. I've got the vise on, normally you could just go straight across, but I've got the vise on, I'm not taking it off just for this. Go all the way up to clear it. Going to go all the way to the extreme end. Alright, you just zero, hit Z, hit Z zero in the MIDI line on your controller and see where it goes to. Can you get closer to them so you can see them, Tyler? Right, so right there, that's... Right there, do each indicator, thank you. That's within less than half a thousand, over 18 inches of travel. Yeah, I can live with that, that'll work. Thanks. And this is the tram bar I made. It's nothing special. You can buy these. They're like 110 bucks. But why spend 110 bucks when you can use an hour of your time and scrap? This was made from, I believe it was SA612 steel. Just happened to have it. I got it out of the scrap bin at work. Uh, it's quarter 20 set screws to hold the two dial indicators in place. I uh, made them on nine inch centers, the holes between the indicators simply because that works perfect on a nine and a half inch table. You don't have to move it to check it. Uh, this was a piece of scrap steel, don't even know what it was. Uh, thread milled that right here on the Tormach, pulled it out and put it in my old South Bend Heavy 10 lay to do the back on it, just made it three quarter inch to fit in the R8 collet and with a seven eight shoulder on it, nothing special, pull it down tight. And it indicates within about half a thousand all the way across. So. It doesn't need to be accurate because the dial indicators are adjustable, but 
why not make it accurate while you're doing it? And this right here is actually how I ended up getting it correct. It's all it took. That's uh, three shims stacked together. They total up to be a little over a 32nd of an inch. 0.032, I think, is what they measured. Uh, all they are is just some shim stock, and they're placed up under the... If you're standing in front of the machine, that's the right corner at the front. And that's all it took to get it from 7,000th out on the X in 9 inches and 5,000th out on the Y over nine inches those three shims got it dead on uh the anchor bolts i don't have them super tight but they are pulled pretty tight but that was all it took i fought with it for several hours trying to do the trying to do it with levels and whatnot i have a good stare at level tried those they i would get it level but yet the tram would still be a few thousandth off so i just leveled the table then this shim and it's dead on when you measure the level it's showing to be about two thousandths out of level but i'll live with that as long as the tram is dead on it that took out a lot i was having a lot of uh issues with chatter and that pretty much ended all of the chatter so good luck hope it helped thanks